Ahead of his sentencing, Ahmed al-Mahdi has already made legal history. His case is the first time destroying religious monuments has been treated as a war crime. And he's made the first ever guilty plea before the International Criminal Court. It happened in 2012. The destruction of nine mausoleums and a mosque door. Mahdi admitted issuing orders for this to happen in Timbuktu, a city revered over centuries for its cultural and religious treasures. The court was shown news footage shot in the ancient city and the prosecution described Mahdi as a member of Ansar al-Din, a movement associated with al-Qaeda in the Islamic Maghreb. He was head of an enforcement unit of religious police. The judges were shown interviews broadcast on several news channels in which Mahdi described the destruction as important work. <laughs> But it was all very different before the judges at The Hague last month when Mahdi had this to say. I am really sorry, I am really remorseful, and I regret all the damage that my actions have caused. The case may be about to close with a sentence, but human rights campaigners are already asking why the court isn't pursuing charges of rape and enforced slavery against Mahdi and more senior figures. Andrew Simmons, Al Jazeera.